in these stir hunts. Okay. Hey, uh, this first thing I'll say is just hats off the Citadel and Coach Thompson and uh, their football team just clearly outplayed us every way today, uh, every way imaginable, offensively, defensively. Special teams were big in the game. Uh, field position obviously was big, particularly in the second half. Um, you know, and uh, obviously it starts with me. And obviously we uh, – I kind of thought we – you know, wasted a bunch of opportunities there in the first half to get points. Couldn't stay on the field on, you know, missed, I think, three third and shorts, you know, to stay on the field. And, um, you know, our defense created some turnovers now. You know, we gave it way too many big plays on defense, let them possess the ball. Um, but, you know, just a tough day, you know, obviously throwing the football. I mean, look, I didn't really, we're five of 25. And, you know, it's hard to beat anybody doing that. Now, I mean, second half, it was extremely difficult. First half, we, we wasted a bunch of chances. But, um, you know, We'll, uh, you know, our kids fall to the end. Uh, it just wasn't our day. And uh, again, give them credit. They beat us. They really beat us in every way. Out, out, getting out, played us, out, coached us. And you know, our guys will come back and we'll go to work. Questions with that? Yeah, coach, you couldn't get much going on on first down, kind of got behind the change. That's different than we've seen uh, much of the year. Well, yeah, you know, I don't know. It's, it's kind of funny game. I thought the first half, you know, we, we were, uh, two things stood out to me. We couldn't get any chunk plays. You know, we were had, there were a lot of seven, eight, nine yard runs. You know, we just couldn't get, and we just could get nothing out of the passing game. You know, and and I mean, we're right now how we're built and our plan was certain. We plan to hit a lot of those throws, um, and we just didn't hit any of them. And uh, you know, and so uh, you know, a little bit of their plan you could tell was what they were going to allow us to run it up in there and try to turn it into a, you know, keep the ball inside. You know, and for us, and, and they were there. We just couldn't, we couldn't hit them. And then obviously the, the conditions just made it. You know, I don't care who it was. About the last quarter and a half, it turned. And uh, you know, the only regret I kind of had is I didn't. Uh, you know, I took the wind in the fourth quarter. Um, I, you know, I was sitting there deciding what to do, and I took the wind in the fourth quarter. And the third quarter just kind of killed us. You know, we kick the ball out of bounds to start, give them great field position. They pop a run the first play. And then we got to stop, but we just stayed backed up. And, uh, you know, and, you know, we can try to bang it out of there or we can try to hit a few throws to get it out of there. And we had them, oh, we just couldn't hit them, you know. And, uh, you know, so we just stayed backed up. They had great field position. Our, our defense was hanging in there. And, you know, we just at, at some point you just can't give them, keep giving them that many opportunities and think you're going to get stops. And then, you know, and obviously the turnover we gave them down there. You know, we had we had exactly what we wanted. We had a screen to the tight end set up with a couple of blockers, and he just didn't see him and throw it, and then gets the ball knocked out of his hand. And um, but yeah, yeah, I'm with you. We just couldn't. Uh, yeah. They've been good on third down this year. It's kind of a t difficult situation yeah, today. Yeah. Well, we had, like I said, too many third and longs. I, you know, um, yeah, golly, three or 14. I mean, you just look down, there's not a, I don't, see a, I don't see a good thing on there other than we create some turnovers. I think we only, I guess, had the one. Uh, but other than that, we just, just couldn't get anything going. Coach, you mentioned the chunk plays. I know. It seemed like you know, the first couple of offensive possessions, you had a yeah, team around 11, I thought 12, we were 13, doing just what we wanted to do. And uh, Did they do something different after that or just? No, nah, I just think we just couldn't. You know, we – I know we missed two third and ones. And then we had a third and two. You know, if you make those, you stay on the field. And I don't know exactly what happened. I kind of got an idea. I'll go back and watch it, you know, on the tape. But – uh, but you know it's seven three, so we just you know we're playing good defense and and uh, you know it's frustrating, but you like you know just don't panic here and you know we we went for the well actually the one I guess was the fourth down and uh, obviously we turned somebody loose and then but we got to stop. Uh, it was just that and then the third quarter was about field position. Uh, they complete you know I, like I said I took they just completely flipped the field on us. You know, we kick it out of bounds, give it to them at 35. And then I think they made about a 30, 35 yard run the first play of the second half. And it just, and then, and then, and then actually the wind picked up even more uh, and just made it even tougher. I wish, you know, we hadn't let the second punt hit the ground, you know, and it was still, you know, still manageable and we let it hit the ground. And, uh, you know, we started both those drives. And I know inside the 10, I think one of them was on the five, so. Uh, just uh, 
Like I said, just all around frustrating day, but can give them give them the credit. Uh, uh, they had a lot to do with that. Jonah, um, just talk about how, how frustrating it was as a defense. You get a hit on, you know, Rainey a few times and he gets that pitch out of there. Just just talk about how frustrating that was. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's just the nature of the option offense. Um, you play your assignment where you're supposed to and they just execute like they're supposed to. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, but, yeah, it was very frustrating to say the least. Coach, when he got in the end zone there in the fourth quarter, was it a sense, you know, it cut it to uh, 21 10, and there's still plenty of time left, but it took so long to get there. And, you know, against a team like that, time is at the essence. Was this even a sense, even if you finally scored, there's still, all right, we still got so much more work to do? You know, and I actually still felt, you know, I still felt okay. It's just the problem is it just, in, you know, in the passing game in the last quarter and a half, it was just, again, I don't, I don't care who was there, it was going to be tough to throw and complete a pass. And so, you know, they were going to give us some shorter stuff. And, um, you know, and we and we kicked it off there. You know, at this point, we didn't get a stop there. You know, we – they had a – got about a six-minute drive. And then I guess they kicked the field goal to go up whatever the other score was. You know, I just really thought we kick off, kicked in the end zone, we can get a stop. We got all of our timeouts. You know, we get a chance to go back. We can make it a one-score game. But, you know, they did exactly what they wanted to do. They drove – about the length of the field, and then uh, end up kicking the field. I was actually at some point thinking about using timeouts here, but, you know, they just had a great drive. And, uh, you know, we held them to a field goal. Uh, you know, and I think that was maybe the next series. We went four downs and probably had two two drops. He made actually decent throws, and we dropped it. But we just uh, – now, I actually felt that time we, there was enough time if we could get a stop right there, and, and we didn't. You know, and, again, just uh, – Again, I, I just like I said, credit them. They, I think you know, you look. I think it went probably exactly like they would have liked to have drawn it up. They possessed the ball. They were good conversions. You know, they went was it fourth and two on their own twenty nineteen, and made it. You know, I mean, we didn't give it to them. They made it. Uh, so I mean, you do that, and uh, you know, I just think I said, and you know, and, and the problem I think I saw was we just could never put enough pressure on them. From a score standpoint, we always let them be ahead. If you know, if we could have played a little better in the first half, maybe got them behind or something, maybe made them change a little bit. But it just, and again, we just, we just, we didn't get it done. And we're joined in the room by Brian O'K and uh, Demarcus Clay, two defensive backs that, in a week of a lot of tackling, uh, out tackled uh, linebackers in this case. Uh, was that a defensive strategy? And I ask. Okay, you this question. It, was it a defensive strategy to put more of that oldness on the defensive, uh, the defensive backfield to run the alley and make the play, or was it more of a, as by result, um, that you guys came out with the majority of those tackles? Yeah, um, I'm gonna say it's, it was by result. Uh, you know, with safeties, we're checking the wings, and then we run our alley. If the ball comes on the perimeter, you know, that's where the Safety's supposed to make the plays, the corners and the safeties. Uh, they ran the ball a lot to the perimeter. We could have been better on the perimeter as well. But, um, yeah, when it was time to make a tackle, we just made our tackles. And then DeMarcus getting the start today. A uh, lot of tackles in on, in on a lot of the action uh, from a defensive back standpoint. Uh, what do you think you bring to the table against uh, next week's opponent uh, and those opponents of the future that uh, better the defense? Um, I feel uh, effort is first and foremost. Um, uh, I only can worry about doing my assignment just as well as everybody else on the defense. And I think as long as that's the case, I should be fine and help better this team in the best way that I can. And then Jonah, if you would, speaking to the mic for me, I don't know if they can hear you or not. I don't have my headset in. But uh, as kind of the core that's bringing, bringing the team or the defense together, that linebacking core is, plays a key role in uh, our defensive effort all of all around, we know the front starts to play, but uh, the linebackers are a huge communicator. And how how important is your role in this defense as far as being on top of what you have to do and and just seeing the result today? What do we need to work on to progress the defense to a better place? Uh, I'd say that the D line's job is just as important as linebackers, just as important as anyone else on the defense. Um, we're the front line of defense. We're supposed to create a new line of scrimmage, get them off their schedule, and. Uh, <laughs> 
this, I mean, today we weren't able to do that as well as we should have. Um, but going forward, we'll definitely get something fixed. Uh, we'll come back with more fire, for lack of a better term, and we'll get right back on track for sure. And then, Jonah, staying with you, we were able to win the turnover margin today. I know that didn't result in victory, but as a defense, there weren't. it wasn't all bad. Uh, able to come up with a couple of turnovers there, uh, OK with the interception, a couple of fumble recoveries. As a defense, uh, it seems that we were sparked by those turnovers. Is, would you agree with that statement? And, and I mean, I know that's kind of the thing, right? You mm -hmm. get a turnover, everyone catches fire. But mm -hmm. we weren't able to turn that into offensive points this week. Yes, sir. Uh, I'd say that turnovers are a huge emphasis for our defense. Uh, we work them every day in practice. Uh, we have competitions to see which position group can get the most turnovers. Um, and so that showed out today. But like you said, unfortunately, it didn't result in the win. Um, but we just got to keep on working it. So I, I've been in this position before, and I just I know this is kind of candid, but just keep your heads up and stay in tune with what your the goal is and look forward to next week. Any other questions from the room? Tom. Clay, I'm sorry I was yeah. late. Uh, just wondering what impressed you the most about the today. Uh, you know what? I thought they just, just were solid and everything. I mean, I think if you look at their plan, you know what? I don't think they did a lot different. We'll go back and watch the tape and what we expected. I actually don't think we probably lined up a lot different than what they expected. And so it comes down to who can execute. And uh, and they did, you know. Uh, you know, you sit there and look. They're 4-12 on third down, but they're 2-2 two two on fourth down. They were uh, – those were big. Uh, you know, and to be honest with you, the turnovers, if we don't get the turnovers, we might have been in an even bigger hole in the first half. Now, we gave them one back and gave them a short field for a touchdown. But I, I just – you know, I just – uh, you know, I think it just that that, it, that script kind of followed out like they were saying. I think even condition-wise, you know, I told George Corals even before the game. I said, you know, if we're gonna make some hay, we better make it. Well, we got a chance to throw it around a little bit, and uh, and we didn't. You know, we just we were bad. Well, nah. Later on, later on, it made a chance for have a chance to trying to throw it around at the end of that game was, you know, nil. But I don't want to take anything away from them. They just outplayed us every way, shape, or form. They. Out coached us, out played us offensive defensively, I, and, and I, I just give them all credit. I thought they, you know, our kids played hard. They um, executed. I mean, they, they they just did. I just, you know, uh, I, you know, no, they just it rained on both sides of the field, so they they beat us. It was raining over there too, so um, I, I just think probably they that's probably how they how we wanted it to go, and you know, we can't let them rush for you know 360 yards, and you know, out of you know, 60 carries, it's not like the average 2.9 a carry. You know, they were getting chunks when you're doing that. You know, them, it's 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 how how many yards they're getting, you know, per carry. They're going to get their yards no matter what. But um, we just had a chance to stay on the field a bunch in the first half, and we didn't. And that, to me, was kind of the difference. You know, in the third quarter, we just, you know, we stayed backed up the whole time. And, you know, the, I thought the kicking game was big. I mean, obviously the guy made two kicks, and then when the conditions were really bad, and then they pinned us twice down there on punts. You know, one of them we probably shouldn't let hit the ground. Uh, you know, we kicked the kick off out of bounds at a crucial, you know, to start the second half. And so, do you uh, feel like your group needs to do some soul searching, or just take this and move on? And, uh, well, I don't know. You know, we're sitting there. We're five of twenty-five passing. I don't know if anybody can go five of twenty-five and beat anybody. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we always do. You know, we got obviously we got to prepare better, we got to play better. Uh, you know, we got. I mean, they've been a good football team. They've been in every game they've been in, and you know, and you don't play well, and they play well. Good chance you're gonna lose. So, now I, I like our bunch. I thought our kids competed to the very end. Uh, you know, it was it was a little tough going out trying to knowing you had. But that's not kind of how we're built. And you know, Darren obviously had a really tough day, uh, but he didn't get a whole lot of help either. Uh, and I just thought the big offense, they just limited it. We just couldn't, we couldn't, we've been able to get chunk plays, chunk plays. And we had a lot of good runs, you know, eight, nine yards, but then, and then third down, you know, third down, we, we just couldn't. Like I said, we, I think we missed the fourth down and short, even though we got a stop. You know, defensively, we got the ball back, but then, you know, had a chance at midfield on third down to convert and maybe go down and get points and get ahead, and maybe it's different, but, but nah. You know, I, like I said, our bunch will come back. I'll be shocked if they don't. And, you know, we've been in this situation the last two years and, and one out. So that's our goal again. You know, we we just need to – we our goal is to go play well at West Carolina next week, you know, and um, that's all we can do.
Anybody else? Uh, you know, this is a this is a kind of a new position for this group this year, uh, and you know, FCS winning streak had come to an end today too. Uh, uh, what what what? How do you come back from it? Um, well, I, I, like you do, well, you couldn't work Monday. You know, we'll have weights Monday morning. Our guys will be there. Well, I think we have a. 7.30 group, I don't know what time it is on Monday, but we'll come back and work. You know, one game is not going to define us. And, uh, I, I, you know, like I said, I don't know if we could have played much poorly in a lot of ways than we did. Uh, I, you know, we'll, do, we'll come back and work, and nothing's changed. We didn't all of a sudden, just like we weren't the greatest team that everybody thought has been for a couple of weeks, today we didn't all of a sudden become the worst team. You know, we're not. We're talented. Uh, we got good coaches. Uh, we got players that care and work, and and uh, you know we just got to find something we can go out there and execute. And uh, you know, I have I have no doubt in my mind this kid, will, this group will come back. And we'll play well next week. That'll be our plan.